What's going on YouTube? Thanks for swinging by my channel. My name is James and this is Home Remedy Fitness. I'm gonna have a good one in the books today for us, focusing on two Tabata segments, two mobility driven segments. All in all, it's gonna run us about 35 minutes. So what we're gonna be working with today, I just used a pair of kettlebells, used a pair of 45s. So find a pair that's not too, too heavy, not too, too light, right in the middle. The word that jumps out for this workout is going to be uncomfortability. So if there is comfortability, we're implying through the duality of life, there's uncomfortability, right? You gotta have that mix match, the yin and yang. I forget how the saying goes or who says it might be butchering it, but it says growth lies just outside of your comfort zone. So in order to get to that next level and in order to progress as a human, we gotta be a little bit uncomfortable. We gotta get comfortable in being uncomfortable. We gotta embrace the unknown, face that adversity with a smile, and we want to level up. So why this word sticks out is because in this workout, I threw together a handful of exercises that I'm not totally proficient in. The past couple of weeks, I wanted to involve them, but the ego in the back of my head was like, don't look like an idiot and put something out there that you're not complete expert in, you know, for all the world to see and just throw it out there. But I can't have my ideology of pushing you guys and wanting you guys to excel and risk looking a little bit silly in the process if I can adopt that myself. With that being said, we're doing some gorilla cleans. We're gonna be doing some pass-throughs between the legs, some overhead squats. Might be new movements for you. They're totally new movements for me. My risk being a little bit silly on camera, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna work hard. We're gonna grow together. Jumping back into the workout, it'll be the Tabata segment we're starting off with. So it's gonna be 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four working sets all together, three exercises. Movement number four is gonna be a rest interval. So you're gonna have about 50 seconds of rest in between hopping back into that set. First of which is gonna be that alternating gorilla clean. So we're in that front rack position, alternating sides, big hip extension, good power generation, getting the traps involved, biceps, all that fun stuff. Moving into a rack squat up into that front rack, try and get your glutes back to those calves, nice and deep, lead with the chest, drive hard through the heels, moving into an alternating push press. So again, we're focusing on power generation, core stability. Use that momentum from your lower body, drive up hard, overhead stability and strength. Rest for those 40 seconds, round after round, you're gonna get through it, all right? So with all that being said, grab your waters, grab a towel if you need it, it's a sweaty one, grab those kettlebells. Let's get to work, y'all. Let's have a good one.
like you were always one. 